Shalom, everybody. This is Kobe, and welcome to Grafted into Yahuwah, where this is about Yod Hey Ua Hey Yahuwah, Yod Hey Ua Shinayin Yahusha. They get all the praise. This video is about hatred that you may be receiving. As a Nazarene, we have to walk the narrow path. And sometimes there are things that Yahusha puts in our way for us to learn. It is written, in 1st Kepha chapter 4, 1st Peter chapter 4, verse 12, do not be surprised by the fiery trial, which is a test that has come upon you to make you think that this is a strange matter. Always know that when you're going through trials, it is not a strange thing that's happening because the enemy will lie and try to make it strange. The reality is it is a test that you're going through. And Yahuwah says in Romans 8, 28, all things happen for good for those that love Yahuwah. So make sure that you love Yahuwah and you are keeping the Ten Commandments. Because it is written, if you love me, keep my commands. So when we come out of Babel, and as we continue to come out of Babel in the world, we want to share with our family and our friends the things that Yahusha is teaching us. So we get really excited and we're like, we want to share this we want to get them out of Babel too we want them to get immersed in the name Yahushua and repent for their transgressions too but sometimes people are still very attached to the world sometimes people want to stay in the world and so this can cause arguments this can cause rebellion against the word and it's sad because it'll be people that are seven-day Adventists and Catholic and Baptists and Methodists and all of those denominations, now that I'm a Nazarene and I'm out of Seventh-day Adventist, I'm out of that religion, they should be following the word, which says to come out of those things. But that's why in that scripture it says, do not conform with the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then when you try to explain it to them, they'll look at you like you're the problem, like you are a bad person, like you're annoying, like, and they start hating on you for speaking the truth. Sometimes they'll start to distance you. And you can start to get scrutinized for speaking the truth of Yahuwah. But don't be discouraged. It is written, put it all to joy. And know that in the book of Matthew, Matit Yahu, Matthew chapter five, verses 10 through 12, favored are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the reign of Yahuwah, is the kingdom of heaven. Favored are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you false, falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, see, put it all to joy. For your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And remember, Yahushua was hated. Yahushua was hated for speaking truth. Remember, the world is Hasatan's for now. And another scripture says, woe to the people, for Hasatan has, woe to the earth, for Hasatan has come down with great wrath because he knows that his time is short. He doesn't want people to come to the truth, but you have to stay strong and rooted in Yahusha and put it all to joy because you know you are protected by the Most High, yod heh u -Hey, Yahuwah, our Elohim. Understand that this is a part of the journey. This is a part of the narrow walk for Nazarene. Coming out of Babel means narrowing, narrowing your walk, not celebrating these false mighty one days, celebration days like Thanksgiving and this X mass day coming up. I know there's a lot of people who, and I've experienced this, so you're not alone. And that's why I'm making this video. I've experienced a type of feeling where I make, where I feel kind of separate in my own house. For it is written, do not think that I came to bring shalom on earth. I did not come to bring shalom. I came to bring a sword. So he did not come to bring serenity and calmness. He came to bring a sword. So understand that. The next, ver the next verse says, for I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A person's enemy will be the members of his own household. Do you hear that? I want to repeat that again. A person's enemies will be the members of his own household. 
Understand that this is all Yahusha's will. He came to bring a sword to separate you from your family so that you can make it into the kingdom. He is calling us to walk the narrow path. 